Safe shipboard operation relies on sound shipboard operating principles, procedural compliance, questioning attitude, forceful backup, integrity, formality, and level of knowledge form the foundation for safe shipboard operation. This video will cover each of these pillars. Pay attention and see how you would apply these foundational principles in your day-to-day -day job. Sound shipboard operating principles start with procedural compliance. Procedural compliance means a culture of following approved procedures, written guidelines approved by higher authority, and understanding the principles behind them. If you can't find a procedure, can't understand it, or can't make it work as written, do not let time or pressure constraints make you feel the need to cut corners or make it work. If this is the case, stop and tell your supervisor. The following short scenes are intended to show real-life examples where sailors like you have had choices to make and to show you the consequences of both good and bad decisions. Let's watch. Questioning Attitude In your day-to-day -day conduct, a questioning attitude means expecting to find situations that require you to take action and taking the time to assess the situation and do something, even if it's not convenient. Like maybe you're going on liberty. Let's take a look. Come on, let's go on Liberty. You are right, let's go. No, I really got to report this. Yeah, you're right. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, you sure the thing's tagged out? Yes, I checked it. All right, let's get started. Forceful backup. Forceful backup means you need to speak up when you see something that is not right. Even if the watchstander in question is senior to you, maybe even way senior. Let's watch this in action, up on the bridge. Captain, sir. One second, XO. Uh, we're a little, sir. We're a little far. Uh, how about give me a little closer, yes, sir? Sir, we just got emergent tasking. The TAO did. Uh, fifth fleet is asking us to finish up. Why are we coming left? So uh, I'm checking with Chang to find out where we are as far as fueling. Okay. Uh, we've got NAV working a time distance on VMS to see where we are. Now, do we have enough food? Did we get all the supplies we Yes, did? sir, I believe so. I, t I, I need to talk to Suppo and Chang. Connie Austin, come right, steer course 265. Yes, sir. Sound check, five, five short whistles. Five short. Wow, that was a tough situation. The CO has a lot of things on his mind, a lot of distractions. It may be up to you to get his attention for the one thing that's important right now. Camber City on course 265. Parallel. Captain. Sir, we just got tasking this TAO. Uh, we're a little far out. Uh, bring me in a little closer. Yes, sir. So the TAO just called up. So we've gotten tasking for. Why are we Come coming left? Can so we can get to this tasking. So I've already contacted Chang. Chang is giving me fuel numbers here in a minute to see where we're at. Uh, Nav is looking for a track uh, laid in VMS to make sure that we're good. And then uh, I, I believe that's it, sir. We need, uh, need Captain, to check. Sir? Yes. Uh, I had the conning officer come back right to 265. We were closing uh, within 100 feet of the oil, sir. Okay. Great forceful backup, Officer Dash. Level of knowledge. Level of knowledge means not blindly following a procedure without knowing the expected outcome of your actions and not assuming that someone knows the system just because you think they should and also learning enough to pass your knowledge on to junior personnel. Take this PMS spot check. You might call this the blind leading the blind. The door should take four to six seconds to shut. It shuts too fast, but there's no way to adjust it. Well, you do this check all the time, right? Yes, sir. 
All right, that's good enough for me. I'll mark it set. Ouch. Maybe you can see how a lack of level of knowledge can have severe consequences. Let's take a look at that one again. The door should take four to six seconds to shut. It shut too fast, but there's no way to adjust it. Oh, oh it's okay. Let me tell you. It's right here. Was that right? Yes. Okay, that's great. I'll fix it. Integrity. Integrity means doing the right thing even if no one is watching. It may mean standing up for your mistakes even if there are negative consequences if it helps the organization. Again, let's watch this play out on the bridge. Hey, you alright, mate? Yeah, yeah. Just long night watching movies, you know. Hey, don't tell anyone, alright, please? Okay. I got it. I got it. Are you doing all right? Y yes, sir. Yes, sir. Are you okay to stand this watch? Yes, sir. I'm fine. Okay. Mind your help. Hey, shipmate. Wake up. Hey, if you're gonna fall asleep, you need to make sure that you sir, tell someone you didn't sir, get enough sleep I'm, last night. I'm fine, sir. Okay. I I'm fine. You need sir. to go see your chief. You take the helm. Aye, uh, sir. Yeah, next time, make sure you tell somebody if you didn't get enough sleep. Aye, sir. So could the helmsman have handled that better? You know, he might have put the ship in danger because he wasn't willing to speak up. Let's give him one more chance. Hey, you all right, mate? Yeah. Just watching movies all night. Just didn't get any sleep. I'm, but I'm all right, though. Don't, okay. Please don't tell anyone, though. Please. Okay. I got it. You doing okay back here? Uh, sir, sir, I'm going to be honest with you. I, I didn't get any sleep last night. Okay. I, I don't think I'm capable of staying this watch. All right, I'll find someone to relieve you right away. If you want to come over here, take the helm. Uh, sir. Go ahead, call, call somebody up to relieve you. I appreciate that you, you let me know on that. Thank you. Formality. Formality is defined by Webster as rigorous adherence to form and custom. In standing watch, this means giving clear, unambiguous orders, using verbatim repeatbacks, and such good practices as point, read, operate, and using proper terminology. Let's speak in on the mid-watch in CCS when no one is watching. Man, I can't wait for football season this year. Man. What's your Patriots going to do? Man, we, we're going to pull it off. We're going to try to, man. We ain't going to let no balls get flat like last year, are you? Hey, uh, yeah. the night orders say to come to split plant. Uh, Clyde, come to split plant. Do what? I think it's that come to split plant. Oh, yeah. um, okay. Or two Alpha, two Bravo. Doesn't matter. Uh, it doesn't matter. Just okay. whichever one. Okay. Okay. Which one? Just starting on. No matter. He's over there studying anyway. <laughs> Did that all watch? You're starting the wrong GTM. Which one are you talking about? Man? Which one? Hmm. Could you see yourself doing that? Hopefully not. But be honest. Let's rewind the tape and see what should have happened. I know how your claws come. Uh, they come pretty good. I'm working on my ER right now, so hopefully I get a Pack sale. Etsy, reading the night orders. Uh, we're supposed to come to split plant, so let's start two Bravo main engine, come to split plant, and in accordance with M12U. Come to split plant, of course, M12U, starting two Bravo, Pack I.
Yeah, I'm back. This name Start to Bravo GTM. Start to Bravo GTM. Yeah, copies. Yeah, I'm back. Start initiated. Two Bravo GTM. Start initiated. I. So now we've taken a look at the six core principles of sound shipboard operating procedures. There are three supporting processes that really bring this home. Let's take a look at an example, in this case an ammo brief, of how a ship uses plan, brief, execute, and debrief, operational risk management, and incident reporting to instill the principles in their crew. Operational Risk Management, ORM. Operational Risk Management, or ORM, means asking questions like, what could go wrong? What can I do about it? Should we be doing this now? Is this risk decision being made at the right level? Plan, brief, execute, debrief. The plan, brief, execute, debrief, or PBED process, is a formal process to prepare for an evolution and use risk management to ensure that it is conducted safely and efficiently. It also includes a formal debrief to capture lessons learned and improve performance for the next time. Good afternoon, Captain XO CMC boardroom and crew. I'm uh, GM1 Milligan and I'll be holding the safety brief for the ammo evolution today. Uh, today we're going to be moving 5 inch projectiles and powders along with various small arms. Uh, we've divided into two crews, forward and aft. Safety observers will be Gunno, forward and chief aft. Okay, what are we bringing on with our hand carry? Uh, hand carry is going to be 50 cal, 240 and um, M16. Okay. And have we done a uh, safety walkthrough of the route that we're taking to make sure that we're clear of all obstructions along this route uh, from uh, out of the pier down to the to the magazines? Yes, sir. Safety walkthroughs have been done. Uh, the safety briefs are going to be given by Chief Newell and Gunno on station. Okay. Uh, prior to any swinging of the ammunition. All righty. Incident reporting. Sometimes things go wrong despite the best intentions and preparation. It is important to find out what happened, not to assign blame, but to determine the root cause of the mishap or near miss and share the results with others to help them avoid making the same mistakes. This requires trust, patience, and adherence to all the other shipboard principles discussed in this video. Okay, so we dropped the box of ammo. Uh, now we just gotta figure out why. Uh, I think the, the ammo evolution is completed. Everything else went fine, but we just got to figure out so we don't make this, uh, so it doesn't happen again as far as why we dropped this box of ammo. So uh, any thoughts on, on what happened? Yes, sir. I think uh, due to the temperature outside and the personnel being a bit fatigued and uh, transfer from one personnel to another is when the, the ammo was dropped. Okay. So sweaty conditions, maybe the hands were, were sweaty. Um, had we been taking breaks during the day? I mean, had we been hydrating and people were being taken care of and stuff, or we, were we just pushing through this the whole time? I think we may have been pushing a bit too hard, so we should have probably cycled more people through. Okay. Uh, probably going to submit the uh, proper forms, uh, CODAR and ATR, okay. and so get we those do a coder. sent out. Okay. And an ATR on it? All right. Anything else that we need to do for the lost ammo? Uh, we have the inventory every single round and check for damages of the rounds. Okay. Alrighty, so um, yeah, we just need to make sure that we get back and we debrief the troops on this, and they uh, and that everybody understands, you know, what went wrong, um, so that we don't let, let this happen again. Okay. Yes, sir. All right, any questions? All right. In summary, we have seen the six core principles at work, both good and bad, and seen how you may be able to apply them in your shipboard environment. Think about your shipmates, your watch station, and your ship, and ask yourself, what will I do? Thank <laughs> you.